I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Atta. Atta is learning to drive. And I don't know how boring this will be, but this video is going to be all about big roundabouts. Now, yeah. I've been doing a job for about 10 years, and the amount of times I've been parked up here and talking to someone about this roundabout, yeah. and I look at them and they start going like this. So, for anybody, we're trying to summarise this so that your driving instructor doesn't have to bore you to death talking about roundabouts. So, we've just done the roundabout in question. We're going to yeah. go do it again shortly after. But before we do that, we're going to test Atta's knowledge. So, pop quiz. Yeah. Uh, we're turning right on a roundabout. This roundabout has multiple lanes. Yes. Now, textbook standard for a roundabout for turning right we'd normally use the right lane yeah. and by all means you can do this at this roundabout so yeah. in a moment we'll drive on and we'll see which lane you choose yes. now we just did this roundabout and we noticed that we can use the middle lane to turn right as well mm -hmm. what's the benefits of using the middle lane rather than using the right lane to turn right at the roundabout uh, it's easier to go towards the exit once yeah. you're in like you're in the middle lane you can switch to the after the first exit you can drift over mm -hmm. and then uh, it's easier to exit the roundabout from cool. the right hand side. Right. So, add to pass his pop quiz. <laughs> now, the proof's in the pudding, as they say. We're going to go do it. Any questions before we drive on and have a look at Greenford Roundabout, which is quite a complicated roundabout? I'm good. I'm yeah, good. you're good. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go do that now. Stay tuned, and we'll see you on the flip side. All right, here we are heading towards the Greenford roundabout. If you are on your driving test at Greenford or possibly Southall, you might be asked to follow the signs towards Oxford. That's going to be the third exit on the roundabout, turning right. Excellent, so that is going with the central lane. Nice little mirror checks to take you into this lane as well so you can see it was safe. Very good. Any plan that you are processing in your brain at the moment? Check the mirrors the whole time going around. Excellent, the very good. speed here very smooth excellent lane discipline very central here fantastic awareness of the traffic and the traffic light nice side mirror checks just to be aware of any motorbikes that might filter through the lanes we call that filtering traffic this is the hard part this is where what happened last time mm -hmm. the traffic on your right will try to squeeze into your lane yeah. which creates the impression that it's not your lane anymore because yeah. they're squeezing you across. So like you said with the mirrors, brilliant. All right, lovely. And because you checked your left side here and you know it's clear, you made your way across into this left lane. Mm -hmm. So we've made our way out of the middle lane, which we were in. And now we're over here on the left side, which has taken us towards the exit. Really nice. speed fantastic well done so you're aware of the traffic that you're joining and you increased your speed which makes a bigger distance from the traffic that you're joining so yeah. that's the reason why we match our speed increase our speed to gain distance from the other vehicles so there's more room and safer excellent job well done okay uh, we're gonna do a little recap in a moment but for now just follow the road ahead This other roundabout coming up, the target roundabout, we did at the beginning. Yeah. That's so we'll just probably pop that one on there as well. And it's the same principle. 
it will be that middle lane, but do you remember it's the left side? We talked about the hearse. Do you remember on that old left lane? So if you would stay in this lane for me, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this lane to another big roundabout. Uh, this is a very common roundabout to use at South Fork Test Centre and you'll be asked to do a very complicated exit which will be the third exit turning right. Okay. Just like the previous roundabout you've done. You use the middle lane which is really nice. We'll adapt the same method for this roundabout, okay. different roundabout, target roundabout, same method, middle lane. Now, if you're on your driving test at Southall, you'll join this road that we're currently on from this slip road on the left. So you'll come up the slip road on your test, join onto this road here, and stay in the left lane for me. Yeah. <clears throat> so the principle for doing a right roundabout turning right would be right lane. But if we know this from the inside knowledge from the videos or practicing with your driving instructor, this is the better lane for the same reason like you told me earlier, it gets you closer to your exit. So I would like you to turn right on the roundabout, it's the third exit towards Harrow. Okay. For any questions, just fire away, I'll answer your questions, otherwise I'm going to remain quiet and let you focus. Perfect, and this is a good opportunity for me to talk because we're stationary at the traffic mm -hmm. light. Excellent, as you saw your lane widen here, you stayed next to the line on your right side, which has put you in this central lane here for the roundabout. I would suggest a signal, only because it's going to help people know that we're going to go right, so if you put the right signal on. This is a little bit tricky because of the yellow box, so we really want that Mercedes yeah. E-Class to move up a bit. But um, I guess we kind yeah, we got out the yellow box. We haven't yeah, stopped in it. That's oh, good. Yeah, and you had the rangey pushing on you there. Yeah. Remember what lane you want? Good mirror checks. Well done. Good. Remember relaxing steering. Good. Excellent with your mirror checks. Right, um, how did you find two of the biggest roundabouts in West London? So we had Greenford, and then you just covered the target roundabout. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can work our way back to target roundabout, and if we need to chat about Greenford roundabout. Yep. So talk me through what was going on in your mind when you had the target um, roundabout. I went through to the middle, the middle lane, uh, in when I first entered the roundabout, mm -hmm. um, checking my mirrors, making sure I knew what was going on around me, mm -hmm. um, and as I went in, uh, I was trying to stay, stay in the middle lane, mm -hmm. past the first exit. Mm -hmm. Once we got made made it past the first exit, I moved towards the left hand lane, mm -hmm. um, and then after that, I was I stayed in the left hand lane until I came to the third exit. Very I good. And Excellent. So that's exactly what you want to be doing. So you've got that routine or method, if you like, practicing the roundabouts over and over. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful because these big roundabouts, 
there's just really complicated there's yeah. so many lanes you might have road markings do you remember we had the h a r w yes. apostrophe w for yeah. harrow yeah that for the target roundabout will be the road markings that will help you to see the lane ahead mm -hmm. and position and aim towards going into that lane like you described so that can be helpful as well i'm glad you bring up the mirrors the mirror checks really is what it's all about yeah. so if you want to go any direction you've checked you know it's safe you can go and change into the other lanes if it's safe to do so mm -hmm. and you know because we all make mistakes we might go oh hang on i wasn't supposed to be in this lane mm -hmm. i actually want to be in that lane and, and, and let me check yeah okay signal if you feel it's necessary and then you move over and into the lane yeah. that's what it's all about really mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um yeah we'll quickly come back to greenford it's really much uh, of the same yeah so you were turning right third exit and yeah. what again was going through your mind how did you do that um that was roughly the same i entered in on the middle lane um mm. and but after the first after i went past the first exit mm -hmm. i hadn't quite went over to the left lane okay so what i'd had to do is i had to readjust um mm -hmm. after the second exit between the third exit which mm -hmm. was it was slightly late but it's it still wasn't it was all right because mm -hmm. i checked my mirrors yeah and it uh, did it safely yeah good all right any questions no all good cool yes we are all good well done <laughs> all right so if that's been of any value thank you atta and we'll see you next time